Hi everyone, Jose Carioca here with Rhyme Signatures, the nerdiest music review this side of an all-day bender in scenic Bahia. And today we're going to be doing a review of the new Rosalie Cunningham album, Two Piece Puzzle. I love surprises, okay? Be that something as straightforward and simple as getting ten chicken nuggies when I only ordered nine, finding an extra fiver in my wallet on a difficult month, or in this case, being utterly gobsmacked by a musician that I'd never heard of until a few weeks ago. This review's taken me quite a while, really, due in part, of course, to having been away on a much-needed uh, holiday, which was frankly amazing, but this is a music review, not a blog, uh, <laughs> but also because this record is one of the most interesting, unique-sounding experiences I've had in quite some time, that processing my thoughts and feelings on this has taken considerably longer than my usually intended one-week turnaround time. Rosalie Cunningham was once upon a time the founder of the now-defunct band Person, who sadly I have yet had the chance to explore, but a couple of tracks I've listened to since finding this record, mm, very good. Um, but she's been an active solo recording artist now since 2017, with Two Piece Puzzle being her sophomore release under this solo banner. I chanced upon this album from a recommendation by my particular music streaming service of choice, and I feel that this particular discovery alone has warranted my continuing subscription to said service, so two thumbs up. Two Piece Puzzle is an absolutely bewitching album from start to finish. It never once really settles on a, a single idea or theme, but in a good way, as Cunningham really knows how to keep you guessing throughout the 53 minute length of the album. Running the gamut from the Steel Eye Span-esque sounds of the tracks Donovan Ellington and Donny Part 2, to the really Beatles core vibe of the frankly incredible duet. And of course we've got some catchy pop choruses on offer from tracks like the liner notes. There's not a single moment on this album that honestly feels wasted, boring, or otherwise unwelcome. Even the brief spoken word track, The War, is good. And I'm not normally one for spoken word tracks like this. You kind of react to them a bit like how Indiana Jones reacts to snakes. I'm just like, Ugh. But this can honestly be brought down to Cunningham's incredible lyricism. The album's poetic, reflective, as well as maintaining a real playful whimsy that you wouldn't find out of place on like a Frank Zappa album. But it's got that chunky depth of feeling that you'd expect from Leonard Cohen. To call Cunningham something of a laureate in this regard would not entirely be unjustified. I mean, I don't want to ruin anything on offer here, but uh, be prepared to get more and more out of this record as you really pay attention to the lyrics going on. But luckily the music as well is just as exciting. So for anyone who's a fan of the real classics of prog, there's a lot to love here. Kind of like from more from a 60s perspective as well, because you've got a lot of things like um, the Moody Blues and Procol Harum, a bit of Magical Mystery Tour era Beatles with early Pink Floyd and Camel kind of going on as well. But there's a really personal twist and great flavour that manages to give Two Piece Puzzle a unique feeling and identity that really allows it to sit aside from its obvious influences, despite its real strong familiarity to them. And this has all been very positive so far, and with good reason, but there's very rarely anything that joins the echelons of perfection in music, and Two Piece Puzzle is no exception to this, as the production on the record can be a little bit spotty in some places, with some odd and occasionally inconsistent mixing going on, like the drum track occasionally feels kind of a bit too loud in places and a bit too quiet in others. I mean, ultimately this is kind of a minor blemish, but I do feel it does bear mentioning. It can be a little bit, it can be a little bit distracting until you become accustomed to it, but it's no big deal really. As it's ultimately kind of a minor criticism, as this is an album that does shine from start to finish. Cunningham's vocals, they're powerful and commanding throughout. The compositions here are catchy, creative and engaging, with some of the most original takes on the old school prog rock sound that I've heard in years. I mean, so often I've come across these new bands who are self-confessed neo-prog with influences of Yes and Genesis and Rush and Jethro Tull, blah, 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 blah. And honestly, they all just end up sounding like a greatest hits cover band of their own influences, forgetting to add that one all-important ingredient into their music, personality. Thankfully, Cunningham suffers from none of this, as she manages to cherry-pick the best parts of her influences whilst mixing in her own delightful take on the genre which creates what can only be described as one of the freshest sounding albums of the 2020s so far. So, I Remy, mean, really, what else can I say about Two Piece Puzzle at this point? This is easily my favourite album I've stumbled upon almost by accident in, in years. 
It's exciting and engaging, but also has a comfortable feeling of familiarity. Kind of like visiting an old restaurant you used to go to all the time, but since you last went, the chefs decided to mix things up a little and get a bit fancy with the spices. It's really, really good, and it is a highly recommended album to anyone with functioning ears. This is all, of course, my opinion, as you well know. So if you've given it a listen, tell me what you thought of this record in the comments down below. If you've listened to anything else this year that you think I should check out, then do let me know and I might get around to giving it my own thoughts. If you like this video, please do share it with anyone who you think might enjoy it. And please do consider subscribing for more content. Until next time, guys, keep your rhyme signatures odd.